Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, again, I'm Marjorie Goda, uh, ADP Marketing of Araneta City. Um, supposedly, it's, it should be our VP Sana of Leasing who's going to present, but anyway, medyo ano yung bosses niya today. So anyway, um, hopefully I could discuss to you properly about the Gateway Mall too. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I'm sure that, of course, the exciting part of this tour is, you know, experiencing the Gateway Mall 2 itself. So today, it's just a, parang a brief background lang of Gateway Mall 2. And you know, later on, um, you can ask us some questions and you know, we want you to experience mismo the mall. Um, but before that, um, we're gonna play lang a video of Gateway Mall 2. Destination of Leeds at Araneta City with an engaging Relaxing green features, more shops and brands, fun spots for entertainment, a refuge for relaxation. This is still your mall like no other. Gateway Mall 2. Yeah. So again, Gateway Mall 2, it's still uh, uh, a mall like no other, like no other mall in the world. So I, I'm sure you guys have been to Gateway Mall. Gateway Mall, the, the Gateway Mall one, so um, it started back in 2004. So it sparked the renaissance of the Araneta Center back then. So with that Gateway Mall, parang ang daming, um, a lot of firsts were introduced during the, the Gateway Mall one. So one of that is the concierge service. Did you know that we introduced the first concierge service in the mall? So that's Gateway Mall one. We also introduced the Cineplex. Yung Cineplex kasi, um, it's a dip, at parang yung back of the house niya, parang uh, may, meron lang siyang isang room, so parang each of the parang title of the movie, pwede na lang ilipat-lipat yung mga films. So hindi siya yung parang dati, isang room lang, na isang film lang, so that's uh, next room, isang film lang. Ito with, with that Cineplex, pwede siyang ma-ikot ng Cinema 1, 2, 3, 4, and a lot more. Um, we also introduced back in Gateway Mall 1, the Oasis. Uh, that's the first indoor uh, garden area. It's para that's the restaurant also of Gateway Mall One. So a lot of firsts were introduced, and that's why in two, 2019 we rebranded Araneta Center to Araneta City, the City of First. So let me just give you a brief background back to the City of First. Number one, there are a lot of historical firsts. Um, we were the first indoor uh, arena in Asia back in 1975. And that's the Araneta Coliseum. Now it's a smart Araneta Coliseum. We also introduced the first um, air-conditioned mall. Did you know that Ali Mall is the first air-conditioned mall in the Philippines? And why Ali Mall? Because of Muhammad Ali. So when we inaugurated Ali Mall, Muhammad Ali was there. Talaga, nandun siya. Back in Trila in Manila, Trila in Manila, I think that was 1970s, right? No, Trila in Manila. So, naging very iconic yung Trila in Manila na yun. We were also the first to introduce the ticketing system, online ticketing system, and that is Ticketnet. So, di ba? Um, wala pang mga, yung dating tickets, ang bilihan nun sa stores pa mismo eh, but we were the first to introduce that. Um, and there are a lot of historical firsts like Holiday on Ice, yung mga first concerts, and a lot more. But also, there are a lot of personal firsts. I'm sure meron dito first love na meet probably in Araneta. O yung first job nila, or first home, or probably meron din mga unique um, memories like dito ako unang Probably na nakawan sa labas. Ganun, mga ganun. May mga a lot of first. May mga personal first. Me, personally, I think my first year, this was my, um, oh, sige, very personal yung <laughs> my first ko. But there are a lot of first. And, and I think yung first love siguro yung pinaka-memorable. Anyway, so that's the Araneta City, the city of first. So we're not Araneta Center. We're not Cubao. Cubao kasi is, again, it's a place in Quezon City. So there are a lot of you know, parang barangays pa within Cubao. So, think of, let's say, BGC and Taguig, and we are Araneta City in 
Cubao Quezon City. So we're not Cubao Cubao per se. Anyway, sige, next. Okay, so that's Gateway Mall 2. With the Gateway Mall 2, um, we started the construction back in 2018, if I'm not mistaken. But unfortunately, pandemic happened. So that's why I think about two years we were uh, we stopped the construction because of the pandemic. It was it was a parang unstable um, condition for many business owners, and I think sa lahat naman sa atin, no? But we resumed the construction, and binilisan na namin yung construction with that. So with Gateway Mall 2, um, there are a lot of uh, again, first and unique experiences also that we are introducing in Gateway Mall 2. We are, this mall, we are positioning it to be an AB mall or an AB market mall. We're targeting the ABs. Uh, why is that? Because of, number one, it's design. Um, it's very unique. It's not the cookie cutter, you know, parent kind of mall. Like, of course, their SM, they have their own, you know, parang, when you think of SM or their mall, diba? parang, Meron ng mi template na sila or ayala or something. But this mall, it's different. Parang when you go there, there's a different feeling. Parang there's nothing compared to it. Parang when I when I saw it, parang this is not podium. This is not also shangri la. This is not rock etc. Parang it's unique on its own. So later you will feel that. Okay. Um, with the new Gateway Mall too, there will be more shops. 400 plus shops. There will be more than 100 um, food choices. There are a lot of food choices with this mall. Um, we saw that in our research that people or the mall goers, their number one um, activity when they go to the mall is eating. So, iba pa yung eating no, in the restaurants versus you know take out food or just eating at home. So, yeah. Um, we also have more cinemas and a 3,700 square meter supermarket. Okay, 